Shifting focus away from Bihar and a big political quake coming in from the state of Maharashtra, ladies and gentlemen, where former Maharashtra Chief Minister Ashok Chavan has now quit the Congress party. And that is the rumbling that is taking place from the state of Maharashtra, ladies and gentlemen. A huge jolt to the Congress party after the exit of Milan Deora in Maharashtra, who joined the Shinde Sena. Now Ashok Chavan has quit the Congress party. A huge jolt coming to the Congress party ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Remember, 48 seats up for grabs in the state of Maharashtra and that is the letter on your screen written by Ashok Chavan where he has now exited the Congress party. Former Maharashtra Chief Minister exiting the Congress party. Ashok Chavan, one of the tallest leaders of the Congress party in the state of Maharashtra, exiting the Congress party. A huge jolt coming in to the Congress party. Remember, this is the same state where Milind Deora also exited the Congress party and joined the Shinde Sena. I'm Joined by my colleague Yasha Kotak on the broadcast. Yasha, a huge blow to the Congress party in the state of Maharashtra ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Decode for us what the letter says. Uh, so, in fact, he has been... Uh, has been now, here in this letter, it's just a letter which he is saying that he wants to resign from membership. Just five minutes back, we've seen uh, the Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavish speaking here at BJP office. Where he said that there are several leaders, several tall leaders from Maharashtra who are in touch with them and they would soon be joining uh, BJP. Amidst all of this, we had also seen Ashok Chauhan had gone and met uh, the speaker. Following which, from Vidal Bhavan, we expected that uh, he'd be coming here to BJP office. He'd be coming here to BJP office. There's a huge poster right outside BJP office which says Jahir Paksha Pravesh, which means there are some people who are going to be joining BJP. On being asked a specific question about whether it is Ashok Chauhan would be joining uh, BJP, uh, uh, Devendra Fadnavis was tight lipped and he said that as of now I will not reveal the names, you will just have to wait and watch what really happens. Now, taking you through what happened in the state of Maharashtra in the last uh, uh, couple of weeks, uh, just uh, say 15 to 20 days back, we'd seen Milind Devra. Uh, jo uh, resigned from Congress, he had further gone and joined the uh, Eknath Shinde faction. After which Baba Siddiqui, who has a stronghold in uh, Banza, because uh, we seen that Baba Siddiqui and his son, they both hold a stronghold in Banza. Uh, he stepped down uh, from his position in Congress, uh, eventually he went and joined the, uh, the Ajit Pawar faction on Saturday. Uh, on Monday, uh, that is today, we see that Ashok Chauhan has gone and met uh, uh, the uh, Speaker. He has tendered his resignation uh, to Nana Patole and uh, of, amidst all of this, we had seen several big leaders from BJP who have been present at uh, the BJP office, uh, which includes Devendra Fadnavis, which also includes uh, Ashish Chalar and Mangal Prabhat Loda. Some of these leaders who are um, who have a stronghold in BJP, they have all been present here. And Devendra Fadnavis has given an indirect hint that there are several leaders uh, from uh, who were a part of the MVA government who would be joining here very soon. So, after which we see that when the resignation of Ashok Chauhan has come in, it comes in timely. However, Ashok Chauhan has been tight-lipped as of now about him uh, joining BJP. But there was an indirect hint that was given by Devendra Fadnavis where he said that there will be several leaders joining BJP. So, here this is another big jolt to uh, Congress if you go to see for that matter. Because it started right from uh, Milin Devra. Milin Devra along with uh, several corporators uh, from, uh, from the BMC had joined the Shinde faction. And at that moment, also let us understand that there has been a... There's been uh, this kind of a message which is coming in time and again, not only from Devendra Fadnavis but also from Eknath Shinde. Uh, when Eknath Shinde was asked this question whether it would be only Milin Devra would be uh, leaving, uh, would be leaving Congress and joining them, he had then also mentioned that it, it, someone uh, we have to wait and watch. It has to be a wait and watch policy, and there'll be several leaders who would be joining in. Eventually, we saw Baba Siddiqui also joining in, and Ashok Chauhan. Ashok Chauhan, of course, is uh, is a big name considering the fact that he has been the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. His uh, father has been a Chief Minister of Maharashtra and Ashok Chauhan has had a stronghold in Nanded. Uh, so here, the fact that Ashok Chauhan, who was also the MPCC uh, head uh, a couple of years back, has stepped down from this position, considering that there were the speculation that he was unhappy with the working of Congress, and uh, which is where uh, the fact that uh, Devendra Fadnavis also happened to mention that there are several people who have been unhappy with how uh, the other parties are working. They have been happy with the... Uh, the way uh, Narendra Modi is taking forward uh, uh, the vision in India, which is where, uh, which is where there are indirect hints by both the ends uh, that there would be a Paksh that will take place of Ashok Chauhan 
uh, right here, but there is no direct hint or direct indication that has been given by any of them. Absolutely. So after Milind Deora joined the Shinde Sena, also Baba Siddiqui joined the Ajit Pawar faction of the NCP. Remember, Ajit Pawar faction also had a huge victory with the Election Commission granting them the NCP symbol. Now Ashok Chavan has quit the Congress party, but it's still not clear when or uh, when or where will he join the BJP camp? When will that actually happen? Because he's being very tight-lipped about that, as my colleague Yesha is pointing out. When will Ashok Chavan join the NDA faction? We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But Yesha, at the same time, Ashok Chavan is the same uh, former chief minister of Maharashtra who was caught up in the entire other scam. That specter of the other scam continues to haunt Ashok Chavan and any possible entry into the NDA camp gets complicated by that reason. Absolutely not. In fact, uh, we'd seen that there were several uh, leaders. In fact, uh, there, there is this term that the parties have been uh, have been stating wherein they say that whoever joins the NDA camp, they go through a cleansing. Uh, so, of course, uh, when we had seen that Ashok Chauhan, he was holding a position, in fact, for a very long time because uh, of other scam was where him holding the highest position in MPCC was also under a question and which is why he wasn't getting that position in Congress considering he was under the radar of others. But eventually we saw that he headed uh, the Maharashtra Pradesh Congress Committee and, and uh, which is where, following which also he was holding some of the uh, higher, higher positions in uh, the state as well. More recently, uh, when the MVA government was in power, he was a PVD minister. He has been, uh, he has been someone who has always been always been among the top ranks of Congress, someone who's been holding various positions, right from Chief Minister to the PVD Minister to also the Cultural Minister, the State of Maharashtra, someone also got a Lok Sabha ticket uh, from Congress. Uh, so, of course, despite all of, uh, despite uh, his name boiling up in or coming up in the other scam, there was a, uh, he constantly kept getting these seats in Congress and which is where, when we speak of NDA, uh, there has not really been that kind of uh, there's not never there's not been uh, any kind of a message that has come out from the NDA camp that they would not be uh, they would not be taking Ashok Chauhan just because of his name in other scam. However, uh, like we've seen that while both the sides, be it uh, Ashok Chauhan or be it BJP, they've both been tight-lipped about uh, about his uh, Paksh Pravesh into uh, BJP. But there is uh, there was no slight hint uh, when B when uh, Devendra Fadnavis asked this question about Ashok Chauhan. He only said you'll have to wait and watch. Uh, clearly, if it was uh, clearly if it was the case that Ashok Chauhan would not be joining. Uh, the BJP, then he would have uh, uh, categorically denied uh, that, which has been the case, uh, at least in Maharashtra politics, wherein we've seen that a denial comes in clearly uh, from the BJP faction. However, here, considering that there is, uh, there's, there's, we've been tightly, there's not been a yes or a no in either of, by either of the faction, which is where what becomes important is to watch out the movements so of uh, Ashok Chauhan, because it was expected that after uh, meeting the speaker at Vidhan Bhavan, he'd be reaching here at BJP, which is where uh, this arrangement was uh, made, which is where Several of the tall leaders, including Ashish Shalar, Devendra Fadnavis, and Mangal Prabhat Loda, they were present at BJP office. But uh, what it looks like is that we'll have to wait out for a bit more uh, to understand as to what the next move of Ashok Chauhan would be and when would he be joining, uh, when would he be joining BJP. But of course, another message that has clearly come forth is the fact that not only Ashok Chauhan, but there are several other leaders uh, who are in touch with BJP. This was something that was uh, categorically mentioned in the press conference by Devendra Fadnavis, where he said that there are several leaders um, whom they are in touch with which is where. Now what needs to be seen is that who else, who are the other big names from Ashok Chauhan would be joining them. Absolutely. The political power play is still underway, but all likelihood that Ashok Chauhan will join the BJP. Also, at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, let's remember that in 2014, when the anti-corruption plank was being uh, hit against the UPA, when the BJP was uh, fighting that anti-corruption campaign against the UPA, the other scam was one of the critical scams that the NDA was attacking the UPA government on. Given the fact that Ashok Chauhan was the man at the centre, this does complicate the NDA's anti-corruption message because this was a man who was broil in that entire scandal. But as Yesha is also pointing out, it never stopped him from getting top posts in the Congress party because the Congress party always called the other scam a complete myth. We're getting a reaction from Devendra Farnavis, Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra.